Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will talk about the new network application update uh, which got released as a general access version 8.0.28. This is the release node, you can check down what bug fixes it include. So, we will check each bug fixes uh, on the controller which has been improved from the previous version. So, right now they have improved the hotspot landing page. Uh, uh, like uh, the user were unable to uh, upload the images uh, on the landing page. So, that has been fixed uh, from here. Uh, you can upload the images uh, for the landing page. So that has been fixed uh, in this version, the previous version, the user were facing an issue. Also, some users reported any issues uh, like the on, under the client devices uh, on the display options, the, the, uh, they were unable to select multiple devices. So you can see all access point has been selected. So you can select each access point from here. So that was an issue of the previous version. So that has been fixed now. You can choose uh, multiple APs. Also, if you see, uh, they have uh, also improved the DNS shield under the security. Uh, some user reported they were unable to use uh, uh, this settings option. So, so that has been improved right now. I'm setting uh, using the manual. So I'm using the Cloudflare uh, as my DNS shield, which uh, encrypt the DNS traffic. Also, it has been, uh, it also improved the connectivity where the was uh, like uh, the WAN interface uh, did not found after an upgrade of the previous version, which caused the gateway devices uh, to provision. If you check on the hosted controller and other controller also, it caused an issue where after upgrading to the version, the WAN interface gone missing and uh, it went into the provisioning. So we have to uh, Either you can roll back to the previous version to fix the issues or you can upgrade to this version so that will uh, uh, have the issues with your, your gateway on be provision. Also, they have uh, fixed the issues uh, where the admin, uh, uh, administrator user account uh, were unable to see the pending adoption even with the permissions given. So that has been fixed on this version. The uh, administrator user can also be able to adopt if they are given the permission to adopt an access point. Also, some user reported in uh, issues like under the topology uh, to use a virtual uh, network from here and on, on your networks, if if you have a DSCP guarding or D, uh, DSCP options enabled, uh, the user reported they were unable to create a this uh, virtual network, like a smart uh, virtual network from here's VLAN magic. So right now that has been improved. So we can test here by creating one network from the topology. So as you can see here, uh, that network has been created. If you go under the settings and the network, you will see uh, the network has been created here. So this uh, issues has been fixed now uh, with, by creating the smart VLAN magic network. So you can check here, uh, we can create another new network. So right now the switch is provisioning so go ahead and check under the network and uh, this refresh the screen you can see if the network has been cleared or not so yeah you can see the new test vlan the test new has been created under the topology you can check here the smart vlan so in the previous version when the dscp guarding or the dsc option enabled the user were unable to create uh, the vlan network from the topology also, uh, some users reported an issue the mesh uplink went down when the monitor IP says invalid. So that has been uh, big in this uh, version. So after updating to this version, you won't be able to get the niche was uh, related to the mesh uplink going down. Also, like uh, most of the uh, issues has been fixed from the previous version. But uh, after updating to the latest version, you will see the devices will get the reprovision. So that is mandated. It's mentioned in the, the release note, like the unified network application may boss your adopted devices to deep refill. Also, some users reported uh, they were unable to open the security in the ops also, like from here and other, you can check here. Uh, they were unable to uh, open the security in the ops from here. So that been fixed in this version. I think uh, lots of the box fixes has been uh, covered in this controller version. So I hope uh, 
this version can be uh, upgraded. So if uh, some users are reporting the issues which I have mentioned, they can upgrade to that get this version. But still, uh, it's still uh, I mean general access. But you can wait for some time uh, to see uh, if uh, users are reporting any issues. So for that purpose, I will. Uh, drop a link in the description of the community and check the link and uh, there are some users reporting about the issues about the wildcard VPN still not supporting IPvP. you can follow this uh, link also so I think that's it for the today's review I hope you like this video thanks for watching bye